In this video, I'll teach you all about the Project Summary task. In Microsoft Project, there's a very important feature known as the Project Summary task. It goes by the nicknames Row Zero or Task Zero. It's very important that you display it in each one of your projects but it isn't displayed by default. In this video, I'll teach you what it is and how to display it. And if you stay with me till the end of the video, I'll give you a special bonus as well. So let's get started. Before you begin creating your initial task list, there's something very important that you need to display in your project. It's called the Project Summary Task, nicknamed Row Zero or Task Zero. Let me show you how to display it, and then I'll explain why this is so important. To display the Project Summary Task, navigate to the Gantt Chart Format ribbon, and at the far right end in the Show Hide section, select the checkbox called Project Summary Task. Notice that Microsoft Project just inserted a task whose ID number is zero. This is the Project Summary task. You can enter any name you'd like for task zero. I'll go ahead and put in the name of this project. It's the Cal Quinn Software Upgrade Project. So why is this Project Summary task so important? It's because it summarizes or rolls up all of the information from the entire project into a single task row. The duration you see for row zero will be the duration of the entire project. You can see the current start date of the project and the current calculated finish date and oh, so much more information. It's so vitally important that you display this in every one of your projects. Now I've done this for one project, but let me show you how you can ask Microsoft Project to automatically display the project summary task in every new project you create. To do this, click the File tab and then click the Options tab in the Backstage. In the Project Options dialog, click the Advanced tab on the left side and then scroll all the way down to the bottom to the Display Options for this project section. To the right of that option, click the Project Pick list and choose the item All New Projects. Then select the checkbox option, Show Project Summary Task. When you click the OK button from this point forward, Microsoft Project will automatically display the Project Summary Task in every new blank project you create. Let me prove it to you in case you think I'm making this up. So let me go ahead and create a new blank project. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's task zero or row zero, the project summary task in this new project. Oh, wow, you stayed with me clear to the end of the video. Thank you so much for that. You know, in the real world, there's a lot of self-taught Microsoft Project users who don't know there's such a thing as the Project Summary task. But yet, they instinctively feel there's a need for a top-level summary task that will summarize the entire project. In this example project, you can see one such situation. The Project Manager created Row 1 and indented everything below it one level to the right, which makes row one or task number one an artificial project summary task. However, an artificial project summary task isn't needed. 
and this task should really be deleted and replaced with the real project summary task. So I'm going to display the real project summary task. Remember, it's row zero or task zero. And then I'll go back to the task ribbon. I need to delete task number one, but how do I do that? Here's how. Select task number two. Then on your computer keyboard, press and hold the shift and control keys and then press the down arrow key. That action will select every task from task number two all the way to the end of the project. With that done, in the schedule section of the ribbon, click the outdent task button. This action will change the artificial project summary task into a regular task that can be deleted. To delete the task, right click anywhere on the task name and on the shortcut menu, choose the delete task item. So that's how to display the real project summary task and delete an artificial project summary task that is no longer needed. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel, give the video a like if you liked it. But more importantly, let's have a conversation together. Feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comments section down below. I promise you I'll do my very best to answer each of your questions. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.